being able to visualize the needle is critical. Uh, uh, for instance, um, some of the patients, we've actually done uh, tap blocks on babies down to uh, two and a half kilos isn't unusual for us to have to do a tap block. We've even done continuous catheters on 2.5 kilo babies. Uh, and we really want to know where the tip of the needle is because in the small infants, the abdominal wall may only be each of those muscle layers may be only 70 millimeters uh, thick, which is 0.7 centimeters. So my margin of error is much smaller. So if I go too far, uh, the layer below the transversus abdominis plane muscle, the next layer down is the peritoneum. Uh, and we always worry that we're going to, if we go too far, that we're going to be in the, the peritoneum and potentially have to worry about visceral uh, puncture, visceral damage. Uh, so I want to know, I want to have a needle that I can control very, very precisely and one that I can see very, very well the whole time. Uh, what I found is that by using the echogenic needles, uh, that it's much, much easier to see where the needle is at all times. We would try just picking up any needle from the drawer. And in some sense, in very expert hands, one could visualize that, but it's just much easier to visualize uh, with the reflective cornerstones. Because uh, it, I, I, it lights up. I feel sometimes like I should have to put sunglasses on when I'm using one of these needles because it lights up so brightly and it's so reassuring to me. Uh, I work a lot with trainees. We have a lot of fellows, a lot of residents, uh, and my hands twitch. Uh, when someone else has the needle in their hands and I really want to see where the needle is uh, and in a uh, in less experienced hands uh, it's much easier for me to help them to visualize uh, the echogenically enhanced needles. As a pediatric anesthesiologist we um, our patients are uh, under anesthetic and it's more even more vital to have a uh, uh, no uh, needle tip at all times to perform a safe uh, regional anesthesia in patients that are under sedation or general anesthetic. And now with the ultrasound, uh, now it's the first time you can actually see it, so it now become more reproducible science. Now with the um, technology improved and now we have echogenic needle like sonopax and actually we can see the needle better, so it will make our job much easier and safer. Now we have to see the needle tip well, so they make sure the needle is not going into the nerve or so forth, because uh, the kid is uh, under sleep, they won't tell you any pain sensation, paresthesis and so forth. So that's why it's vital to know exactly where's the tip, instead of uh, know that you're not looking at the shaft versus the tip. I like uh, very much the product that allows us to do stimulating epidural catheter in uh, the smallest baby. Um, and thread the catheters up and have a very good way to know at what level the catheter is. I like their tip. The tip is um, not too sharp and um, it's just a good product. I have never had any needle that um, gave me any problems. I have uh, tried, I think, every needle that's, that's on the market and um, I always fall back to Pajang. What we want to do is minimize the risks at all times. In babies, because of the uh, minuscule uh, diminutive structures, the target structures we're aiming at, uh, we can improve efficacy uh, by being able to see where the needle tip is. Uh, and the nice thing about the, uh, the Pyunk needles is that uh, the reflectivity is concentrated at the tip. So I know where the tip is, and if I don't see, if I see the shaft light up, it won't light up like the tip. And so I know exactly where the tip is at all times. So I know, for instance, if I'm uh, you know, heading too close to the peritoneum, uh, I know if I'm heading towards a blood vessel, uh, with the needles, uh, and I just need to know where that needle is so I'm not perforating or lacerating a nerve, uh, entering a blood vessel where I may inadvertently inject local anesthetic uh, that may cause the children to have a seizure or some kind of, of, of toxic effect such as cardiac arrest. Uh, and so the stakes are very high. 
uh, when we're putting these needles in. So we really, it's, it's, it's very much a safety issue to know where that needle is at all times. The Pine Company's fabulous uh, because it's a small family-run company. So I remember my first meeting uh, with the sales rep and the, pres the local president uh, was there and they wanted to know they didn't start to say we have this we have this we have this they said what do you need and I said well you know I've tried some of your products but frankly this one isn't sharp enough this one isn't dull enough this one isn't short enough uh, and what they did was they said well we'll talk to us and what they've developed is a special product, uh, a special needle called the Sono Tap uh, that we use for all of our tap blocks. It's a sharper needle. Uh, they made a short one. They made me one in 40 millimeters. That was a little too short, so now it's 50 millimeters. Uh, but they've changed over over the course of my relationship with them when I would say I need a different product. Uh, and they're a small enough family-run company that if I need something, they are able to provide it.